So when we look at how populations are dispersed across an area, we have three different patterns of dispersion. So our first one we're going to look at is clump, I'm sorry, is random. So here's that forest, and it was totally random where the, the seeds of the trees fell and which ones grew. So a good example of a random dispersion is when you have like the dandelions, like these little cotton ball things are really the seeds. So let's say you have a little kid come pick a little dandelion puff ball thing and make a wish. Each of those seeds is going to land in a random place depending on how the wind carried them. When they land, if the soil is of good quality, has the right nutrients, the right moisture, the right sunlight, right temperature, the right abiotic vectors, then the dandelions will grow. And in this case, it's kind of random where they end up. So random dispersion really happens when there's not a lot of strong either attraction or repulsion between other species. So another type of dispersion would be clumped. Now clumped is going to be the most common type of dispersion. Now examples of clumped might be starfish, where they're going to hang out together for reproduction. Um, you might also have clumped when you have like uh, wolves, animals that hunt in packs, it's going to be beneficial. Uh, where one wolf would have a hard time taking down a, a prey, well, if they work together then they'd have a better chance of taking down that elk or that bison. You could also have, uh, maybe if it's plants, maybe that soil is the part that is the, has the most nutrients and the best um, qualities for growth, best you know, factors, biotic and abiotic factors for growth. If you looked at like a salamander or an amphibian, maybe they're living underneath a rotting log on a stream bank. Maybe that humid, moist environment with protection from predators is a good place to live. So they kind of, you'd find multiple ones there. So that's going to be clumped patterns of dispersion. And then we also have uniform. And in uniform, they're all going to be evenly spaced out. Now this is going to be common in birds like, or some species of birds, like penguins, for example. And then in plants, like here you see a forest. Now, unless it was a tree farm where humans are planting these, generally speaking, you wouldn't see this uniform in like a pine tree forest, a conifer, coniferous forest. Um, but there are some plants who secrete chemicals that actually will prevent or kill any other plants from growing next to them. Uh, but really, it's easiest to see in birds. Like here you have a penguin who builds like a little rock nest. Um, so if you have like open land and they're going to build their nests, they will breed, um, build them, oops, sorry, evenly spaced out as a territory. You can see that they're each right out of pecking range. And so um, uniform dispersal pattern, usually it's for territory reasons. Um, to reduce competition or uh, fighting even between the same species.